Hello, everyone. In this video, I will introduce the latest version of Revel for Java. The latest version uses the new vendor for the Revel assignments. The new vendor is the uh, code grade. The book is identical to the previous version, except the assignments. The assignments now are provided and supported by CodeGrid. I'm going to show you from the very beginning to create the book. So I'm going to sign in. Create a course. So I'm going to choose my name and search for the books here. I'm going to use the Java book now. All right, so I'm going to go ahead to create the course. And so I'm going to set the title is New Java Rebel. So here, I'm going to start from today to next month. So the course does not meet during any specific time. I'm going to save it. All right, so this is the one. It's new Java Rebel here. I'm going to open it now. All right, um, let's look at the settings here. So I'm going to do this um, scheduling. So I'm going to immediately, um, when you schedule it, it's immediately available upon publish. And so I'm going to use the default here, the uh, gradebook display. And here, so let's use the default now. Um, so maybe I'm going to change this to 10 for the programming projects. All right, I'm going to save it now. All right, so go back to dashboard. I'm going to create assignments. So I'm going to create the assignment for chapter one. That's everything here. So I'm going to add it. Add a due day for June 19th. And then publish. I'm going to create another assignment for chapter two. Uh, this time I'm going to have, uh, so I'm going to have this, this, and here, maybe the first half. Let's go. All right, let's just do it here now at the time is um, this is the due on the 20th. All right, so now publish. All right, I'm going to create one more now. So let's go to create one more for chapter five. Let's select all, add. And now let's set it for 21st of this month and then publish. All right, so this is all from the instructor site. Um, let's go back to this. Um, I'm going to click on this, uh, this to see all my course material. And I'm going to go down to this invite student. I'm going to copy and paste this 
to a new browser. All right, so now um, I think I'm going to do this here is to stop share now. Uh, let's reshare everything. So I'm going to do this advanced to reshare this entire screen now. All right, so now I'm going to go to a new website, um, open a new browser now. So I, I'm going to copy and paste the invite link here. And here I'm going to join the course. So I'm going to join the course as a student. Um, so this is the, uh, looks like you already have a subscription to this material. You can join the course. So I'm going to join the course now. So they join the course. And so here, this is new Java Rebel. Uh, so this is only a 14 day uh, temporary access. So this is what I have now. I'm going to open as a student. All right, so I'm gonna to try to do this exercises here. Let's look at chapter two and let's pick one is um, 2.5. All right, um, okay, so this is the, I'm gonna read this section 2.5 and I'll go to the quiz for 2.5. So I'm gonna start now. So this now opens code grid. All right, so here is the uh, question and it's a goal and assignment. All right, so I'm gonna declare two double variables. So one is called uh, milk and has a value of 0.75. And the other one is also double. It's a water, it's 1.25. All right, uh, suppose I'm gonna make a mistake. So one mistake is uh, is here. So this is not gonna be cor correct, it's, it's wrong. So I'm gonna run it and see what happens. All right, so here is the feedback. It looks like water was not declared as a double or it was assigned a value different from 1.25. So 1.25 is correct, but this the problem is there's two ways to fix it. So one is you just call it double here and the other is to fix it just using comma. All right, let's try another one. So instead of 0.75, I'm gonna just give it 0.7 and see what happens. So use run. All right, so now um, the feedback is, it looks like milk was not declared as a double or it was assigned a value different from point. 0.75, so here it should be 0.75. All right, so now let's run again. So every time you run it, and you get a feedback. Um, so this time it's everything is correct. So this is all correct. Um, now, if you click this hand in now, um, you're gonna get a message here. It says, there are still unanswered questions for this quiz. Are you sure you want to hang in? Uh, no. Um, so because this quiz has six questions, so I'm gonna answer all six questions and then hang in. 
So hang in, once you hang in, it's, it's completed and you cannot go back to change it. So this is to hang in. All right, um, let's go, uh, I'm gonna just, this is the, uh, you can continue later. Uh, let's try another one here. Uh, I'm gonna try this one here is, uh, let's look at this identifiers here, the quiz. All right, so this quiz here has multiple choice questions. All right, so here, look at the multiple choice questions. Uh, every letter in a Java keyword is in lowercase. Uh, so this is true. Uh, now, you, um, it's, you cannot, you should not use this one here uh, because it will not give you any feedback. So the, for the multiple choice questions, uh, the only way you know whether it's true or false is if you, whether you get the correct answer is after you hang in. All right, so now let's go to another one here. And this time I'm gonna purposely make a mistake. Which of the following is a valid uh, identifier? So this is not a valid identifier. All right, so we're gonna hang in now. So hang in and you're going to see, and the first one, this is a correct. And now you look at the next one here and this is incorrect. So for the incorrect, it will give you the hint. Uh, if it's available, you see the hint. Identifiers cannot contain operators. So this is wrong. Um, so that's the way and the new system and grids the multiple choice questions. And for the program quizzes, you can have multiple trials unlimited. And for the uh, uh, multiple choice questions, uh, there's only one time. So when you hang in, you know, and whether you get it right or wrong. All right, I'm gonna go back to, uh, um, let's see, um, we're gonna get more here is the, uh, um, see the uh, uh, programming. This, uh, let me go to maybe go to chapter five. Okay, so let's go to chapter five. And at the end of the uh, uh, chapter, we have um, programming projects. So that's here, programming projects. Now, this is a big improvement. Um, in the past, the programming projects, you don't see any feedback if there's a logic error. Now, this new systems, um, gives you the feedback. So let's look at this here. Uh, so here, the first one, this is the uh, programming project. All right, so here's the, uh, to count positive and negative numbers and compute the average of numbers. All right, um, to save time, I'm going to just copy paste some code here. So I'm gonna to go to my code. Yeah, I have the code here. So this is, I think it's exercise um, 0501.java. All right, I'll copy and paste here. Uh, so please note that there's a template here. So here, uh, every public class in the programming project is named exercise. So I'm gonna copy and paste here, and you know, and this has to be changed to exercise. All right, is exercise. And also uh, there's no package statement, so it's all of this. All right, so if you run this, and this is going to be correct, so this should be, but I'm gonna make a mistake here. Um, so where I'm going to make some mistake here is um, uh, let's see if I'm going to make a mistake right here. All right, this is going to be a logical error. So this is incorrect. So you cannot get the correct the uh, average. All right, so now and see here, it's going to compile.
All right, now the feedback here. So uh, expected pattern. So here is, uh, we always have this um, regular expression uh, for the expected pattern. So what we need to know here is, uh, is right here, this is always used. This is the uh, in regular expression represents uh, any a number of uh, characters, any number of characters. So this is the pattern we're going to look for when you grade it. Any number of patterns here. So there's three and here one, and this is the five. This is the uh, 1.25. So here's the regular expression. You have this period. You have to use this uh, backslash uh, period. All right, a uh, student will get used to this. Um, so this is just one time and you know this is any number of characters. All right, so here you can see that last one, the average is incorrect, is 1.25, but it's one. All right, so we are going to go back to uh, fix it and here, and this is going to be, it's going to be here. I'm gonna make it a double value here for total. And now, and you run this, it's going to be correct. All right, so everything's correct now and pass all the cases. And now you can hang in, so you're gonna get the full uh, credits. So this is, um, and see all this is, it's all the credits. Um, should have all the credits. Um, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to uh, uh, synchronize with this. So, so this is uh, actually we hand in. And so it should come back. Yes, this is 10 out of 10. All right, I think this is all. You can see that the, the difference is uh, the on the assignments. Uh, uh, it is now, uh, provided and supported by uh, CodeGrad. And the, uh, um, the, <laughs> the old version, if you know it, it's, uh, it's uh, by a different vendor. And in this new version, we have this is the, the major thing from my perspective, it's the programming um, uh, projects. It's now you can get the feedback. Uh, in the past, there's no feedback, so this is it's it's just not uh, not right, and, and this is the uh, big improvements, and so this is it's very good. All right, um, so that is all for this um, introduction to the new Java Revel. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.